This is the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building on earth. The Burj Dubai doesn't just break the world's tallest building record, it completely shatters it. The current holder of the title, the Taipei 101, could stand beside it with the Eiffel Tower perched on top and still only just match the height of this one. Standing at a staggering 828 meters, this engineering marvel cost over $1.5 billion to construct. The journey began in January 2004 and was completed in October 2009, with its grand opening on January 4, 2010. For 15 years, no structure dared to challenge its reign as the tallest building in the world. But in 2011, Saudi Arabia officially entered the race with an ambitious project, the Jeddah Tower, designed to rise to an incredible one kilometer in height and costing $1 billion, this skyscraper was expected to surpass the Burj Khalifa by 2020. However, after construction began in 2013, the Jeddah Tower now stands unfinished and abandoned at just 300 meters. As Saudi Arabia's reputation rides on this project's completion, one question remains, can they ever finish the tallest building in the world? This is the story of a race to the skies, a tale of ambition, innovation, and setbacks. While the Burj Khalifa in Dubai has reigned as the tallest building in the world for over 15 years, Saudi Arabia set its sights on surpassing this architectural marvel with the construction of the Jeddah Tower, a skyscraper designed to reach over one kilometer into the heavens. But what happened to this project, and why does it remain unfinished after a decade? The vision of the Jeddah Tower. The Jeddah Tower, originally originally known as the Kingdom Tower, was conceived as the centerpiece of Jeddah Economic City, a massive development that sought to transform the coastal city into the Dubai of Saudi Arabia. The ambitious project was meant to include everything from luxurious residential spaces to hotels, offices, and the world's highest observation deck, all anchored by the iconic Jeddah Tower. The tower's design was crafted by Adrian Smith, the same visionary architect behind the Burj Khalifa. Standing over one kilometer tall, the Jeddah Tower was set to boast the the tallest elevator system in the world and the highest viewing platform ever constructed. This wasn't just a building, it was a bold statement of Saudi Arabia's ambition to lead in global innovation and urban development. A promising start but challenges ahead. Construction on the Jeddah Tower began in 2013, driven by private sector funding from the Jeddah Economic Company, with execution led by the Saudi Bin Laden Group. The project quickly gained international attention, captivating the world with its potential to redefine the global skyline. But as with any monumental venture, ambition alone wasn't enough. Despite a promising start, the Jeddah Tower soon encountered a series of significant challenges. By 2017, the structure had reached only about 300 meters, just a fraction of its planned height when progress came to a screeching halt. A major blow came in 2017 when Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman launched his anti-corruption purge. High-profile figures involved in the project, including key investor Al-Walid bin Talal and Bakr bin Laden, the chairman of the bin Laden group, were detained. This political turmoil disrupted funding and management, leaving the future of the Jeddah Tower in doubt. In 2020, just as efforts to restart construction were underway, the global the global COVID-19 pandemic struck, halting work once again. The project, which had already been paused for years, faced even more delays, with no clear timeline for resumption. Engineers also needed to assess the existing structure to ensure it could safely support construction after years of exposure to the elements. A new beginning, 2024 and beyond now, fast forward to October 2024, there is renewed hope for the Jeddah Tower. The Jeddah Economic Company and the Bin Laden Group signed a new contract track to resume construction, reigniting the dream of completing the world's tallest building. However, the cost has risen to $1.8 billion, a significant increase from the original budget. If completed, the Jeddah Tower will surpass one kilometer in height and reclaim the title of the world's tallest building. It will feature unparalleled innovations, including the world's fastest elevator system and a viewing platform, offering breathtaking views from the highest point ever accessible to the public. Today, the tower stands as a symbol of both ambition and resilience. Engineers and construction crews are working tirelessly to overcome the obstacles of the past with a renewed sense of urgency to meet the latest deadline. The new goal? 
completion before 2028, marking a dramatic conclusion to a project that has spanned over a decade. The economic and touristic impact lessons from the Burj Khalifa. The Burj Khalifa's impact on Dubai cannot be overstated. When it was completed in 2010, the Burj Khalifa was not just a skyscraper, it became a global icon, drawing millions of tourists from around the world. Its opening coincided with Dubai's economic diversification, where the city sought to move away from oil dependency and invest in tourism, technology and infrastructure. The Burj Khalifa became the centerpiece of Dubai's economy, driving an increase in tourism, investment and international recognition. The surrounding area, including the Dubai Mall and the Dubai Fountain, became one of the most visited destinations globally, attracting people not just for the views but for the retail and entertainment experience. Its completion helped solidify Dubai's position as a global business hub and a key stop on the international tourist circuit. The Jeddah Tower, if completed, holds the potential to create a similar transformation for Jeddah. As the centerpiece of Jeddah Economic City, the tower is poised to drive tourism, investment and urban development. The global recognition of the tower will put Jeddah on the map in a way that could significantly boost the Saudi economy by attracting international visitors, investors and businesses. Just as the Burj Khalifa reshaped Dubai's skyline and economy, the Jeddah Tower could help turn Jeddah into a modern global city, one that is poised to become a major economic hub in the Middle East. Saudi Arabia's vision 2030 ambition for the future. This vision aligns with Saudi Arabia's vision 2030, an ambitious initiative to diversify the kingdom's economy, reduce its dependence on oil and develop new sectors such as tourism, entertainment and technology. The Jeddah Tower is more than just an architectural feat. It is a symbolic pillar of this vision, representing progress, resilience and the kingdom's commitment to becoming a global leader in innovation and development. As Saudi Arabia continues to build its infrastructure and redefine its urban landscape, the Jeddah Tower stands at the forefront of this transformation, much like how the Burj Khalifa became a symbol of Dubai's growth and success. The future of the Jeddah Tower, will it rise to the challenge? While the Burj Khalifa has stood on challenge for over 15 years, the Jeddah Tower is still an ambitious contender, carrying the weight of Saudi Arabia's vision for the future. The question is no longer whether it can become the world's tallest building, it's whether it can overcome the obstacles of the past to finally take its place in history. The race to the sky isn't over. The Jeddah Tower has the potential to redefine global architecture and inspire a new era of innovation. Will it rise to the challenge? Only time will tell. What do you think? Will Saudi Arabia complete the Jeddah Tower and claim the title of the world's tallest building? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for more updates on the world's most ambitious projects.